So Asus sent us their ROG B660 gaming motherboard and when one of the best manufacturers in the world asks you to review one of their best you know, top of the line products, well we have no choice but to happily oblige. The future is here and we will take a look at what it has in store for us. I'm Rocky the Programmer and in this video we're going to review the ASUS ROG B660F gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. What's up internet? Mahirap pa rin makakuha ng PC parts ngayon but that doesn't mean you can't get this shirt to remind you of what you still need. Jokes aside, na totoo naman, we made our very first merch to not only reflect our passion for PC building but to help you teach your friends what you know through the Hardware Sugar PC Anatomy shirt. To order, go to our site or click on the link in the video description. Hover over products and select t-shirts. We have three designs and they come in sizes ranging from small to XL. Press add to cart, select your delivery option and your payment terms. We deliver anywhere in the Philippines but you can save on the delivery fee by paying and picking it up in our store in Makati. And if you wear it long enough, baka maswertehan ka and you'll finally get the go signal from your significant other or your parents to finally get that AIO or RTX 3080 that you've been dying for. So standard disclaimer again, ASUS sent us this review unit for free. Pero they will have no say dun sa verdict namin whatsoever. When you see or hear those three letters, ROG, they elicit some kind of cerebral, visceral, primal na emotion sa ating mga gamers. Even before you knew what a gaming PC is, or what a gaming rig is, or what PC gaming even is about. ROG rigs are what you dreamed of. And this B660 motherboard encapsulates that feeling. You know, forget that it's the 12th gen Alder Lake system. Forget that it supports PCIe 5. Forget that it runs the fastest RAM modules in the world today at DDR5. No, forget all of that spec. This is ROG. Exquisite black PCB, of course RGB, premium looking heat sinks, heck, even the IO shields are, they look expensive. And that's just the aesthetic. It features a 16 plus one power face design, integrated IO shield and VRM heat sinks, onboard Intel Wi-Fi 6, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, AI cooling, AI networking, and two-way AI noise canceling. We will talk about those later. This thing is filled to the brim and armed to the gills with specs, so, and it's a lot to unpack. So let's take a look at the key features of this motherboard. Realistically, you're looking to get this because you're also looking to get yung 12th gen na Alder Lake CPUs from Intel with the LGA1700 socket and DDR5. It's the B660 chipset. So while there's no core, you know, wala siyang core overclocking or no core tuning, Meron pa rin siya nung memory overclocking and power limits tuning. So while it is the milder na little brother nung Z690, it still packs power and it's still geared towards enthusiasts. Speaking of memory, it has four DDR5 dual memory slots that support up to 6000 MHz. They also support Intel XMP and Asus own Optimum 2. For expansion, it has one PCIe 5X16 slot that routes directly to the CPU. 1 PCIe 3x16 slot and 2 PCIe 3x1 slots that route to the chipset. For I.O., it's a woozy. So ito na lang, eh, ito flash ko na lang sa screen yung connectivity na you're going to expect from this. Speaking of headers, again, ROG is geared towards customizability. So whether you're looking for RGB headers, ARGB headers, USB, USB-C, fan headers, AIO fan, AIO pump headers, this thing has it all. So isa pang noteworthy na connectivity is the Intel Wi-Fi 6 antenna connectors and a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C na connector. So that's currently the fastest USB-C connection out there. Pero sobrang pangit yung pangalan niya. And did I mention na meron tong Thunderbolt header? So talk about customizability and talk about connectivity. Special features include, of course, yung tatlo niyang M.2 slots, meron ng heat sinks, and yung pinaka sobrang gandang quality of life for us enthusiasts. And siguro kahit naman sa sinong gagamit nito is yung color-coded na um, post LED indicator. So, ito yung sobrang lagging gamit na gamit namin. When you're troubleshooting a motherboard na hindi siya nagpo-post, usually, mayroon yung, of course, yung debug light yung tinatawag. Ang problema, 
kadalasan yung PC mo nasa madilim na lugar or marami siyang components like this so that when it's turned off, walang masyadong light na pumapasok dun sa loob ng PC mo, di ba? So, when those lights come up, they, they shine like a Christmas tree. <laughs> they shine like the northern star. So, sobrang bright nila and you don't know what it's indicating. Dito sa motherboard na to, color-coordinated yung debug light. So, may, may certain color for CPU problem, may certain color for RAM, may certain color for boot, and etc. Super helpful. Thank you, ASUS. So, another nifty feature is the Q-latch for the M.2 drives. And I wish this was in all motherboards. Instead of the very small M.2 screws, this motherboard uses a latch mechanism that is both secure and much, much easier to use. You just line up where the M.2 screw used to go to and lock the latch in place. You can do it too less and you won't have to worry about losing those screws or ruining your motherboard with a slipped screwdriver. So aside from that, meron din tong high definition audio capacitors and audio systems. And again, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> That's just a lot of hardware. Hardware pa lang yun. For software naman, it has Asus own UEFI BIOS version and yung kanilang very popular na easy mode where it displays everything essential like yung pag overclock ng XMP, yung pag-apply ng mga power limits na super basic lang, like yung bread and butter mo when you want to boost your PC and your system, all in one page. So it's very easy to use, very straightforward. You don't have to sift through so many convoluted na menus. Pero syempre, if you're like me na gusto yung convoluted na menus na yun, you can turn off easy mode and it will show you all the options na you want. And another thing na super cool about this motherboard is that it has MemTest pre-installed dun sa motherboard. Like, it's, that's, that's effing crazy. <laughs> like, you don't know how much of a quality of life improvement that is. Especially for us na who really want to do tweak yung under the hood ng PC natin. Asus, dahil sila, genius sila. And for some reason, they really love yung mga tinkerers like us. It's easily accessible dun sa BIOS ng motherboard and you just have to click it. And yun, wala pang 5 minutes, you're already testing yung RAM mo. Outside of the BIOS, Asus has yung kanilang suite of AI-powered applications. Um, yung AI Suit 3 is basically it's a tuning tool pero powered siya by machine learning where it learns the performance ng rig mo and it will adjust according dun sa values na makikita niya and sa mga madedetermine niya na tamang dapat na ilagay na values. Of course, you can set din yung mga values manually if you know what you're doing but having that AI, kumbaga assistant, it just knows yung system mo as much as you do that's really helpful if you just want, you know, to sometimes take a break and just leave it dun sa motherboard to take care of itself. So more enthusiast features include yung Supreme FX ALC 4080 codec and it's responsible for all audio-related premiums like impedance sensing, giving out high-quality input and output using the Savitech SV3H712 amplifier to power up your peripherals from gaming headsets to full-blown 7.1 surround systems. Again, as mentioned earlier, this also incorporates in two-way AI noise cancelling technology built right in dun sa motherboard. And if you've seen that video from us, we really tested the heck out of that system and... Arr, 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 arr! And as you can see, this is the audio from the mic, and meron lo lo gusto bumili dito ng parts. Ito yung audio sa, uh, sa mic. Usual. We are happy to report that it really works. There's still a lot of features that I've left out, but all of this combines into a superbly premium platform that is surprisingly easy to configure and tinker with. While the ROG is of course geared towards enthusiasts and many mga medyo high-end, first-time builders wouldn't have a problem building their first systems or like really sinking their teeth into the PC hobby with this. For us veterans though, it frees us of the usual headaches and pitfalls of PC building. Does it have enough RGB headers for all my RGB components? Will it support all of my NVMe drives? Can I plug 
plug in all my high fidelity gear will it power my enthusiast grade cpu yes it will and and then some now all we have to worry about is yung performance ng ating rig well this isn't an alder lake nor a ddr5 performance review we can see on our tests that the b660 manages to run these components with absolutely no problem the 12600K consistently boosted at around 4.9 GHz at single core and even more sa multi-core tests and it gives us these results. Okay, so this wouldn't be a complete Rocky the Programmer review without the gripes and I have just two. <laughs> First of all, I had trouble setting up the XMP and dun sa default ng RAM na binigay sa amin, which is DDR5 6000 MHz, <laughs> it wouldn't post at all. Again, that's mainly the RAM module's fault, I would think. And also because I didn't bother to update yung BIOS no motherboard. Kasi nga, medyo precious yung motherboard na yun, so I didn't want to risk it. Pero kung sa akin yun, game, I, yun, yun, that's the first thing that I would do. Basically, may bago na kasing way of overclocking with the DDR5 involving gears. Essentially, I managed to overclock it at 4800 MHz. I didn't have a lot of time and I didn't want to push it too far. So yung absolute limit ng 12600, which is yun nga, 4800 MHz using gear 2. Again, it's not the MOBO's fault, but it does say a lot about the current state of DDR5. And we do have to wonder why it was included in this package in the first place. The B660 is supposedly the budget-friendlier version no Z690. And wouldn't it have been more budget-friendly if it had DDR4? Without diving into it too much, DDR5 is still in the very infancy stages. And right now, it's it's really not that much faster than the fastest DDR4 RAM. Pero yun nga, hindi naman yun fault ng MOBO, pero yun, we had to mention it. Another, and this will be the last, is that I had problems with yung proprietary software dun sa initial na run dun sa pagboot ko sa Windows. Essentially, yung current na system nila is when you run it for the first time, nakapagboot ka na sa Windows for the first time, may prompt na lalabas dun to tell you na, hey, install mo itong nakabundle na drivers nung LAN mo. So ako, dahil meron akong lightning fast reflexes to really just cancel yung iniisip ko na bloatware, hindi pala siya bloatware, I canceled it. Ang naging problema nun, you don't have any way to go back to that prompt. So basically, wala kang drivers dun sa LAN mo and dun sa Wi-Fi mo. Either you get a Wi-Fi dongle, I, don't, I didn't think na it would work, or magda-download ka, which is what I did. Nag-download ako sa ibang computer, nilagay ko sa USB, tapos tsaka ko in-install dun sa system na meron ng V660. I guess may bug lang yon and that's really minalas lang ako that time. But I really do hope na ASUS make, you know, a better way of installing yung LAN drivers. Something that is 100% essential. Siguro gawin na lang nilang mandatory yung prompt na yun. And that's it. Yun lang yung mga grabs ko sa kanya. Again, hindi siya fault ng motherboard. Medyo. And yung pangalawa fault ko. So, ayun. Asus delivers yet another mouth-watering mamatay ka sa inget motherboard at such a flexible platform. This is absolutely the motherboard for everyone. Beginners looking to build their first systems, veterans looking to upgrade, AMD fanboys looking to switch and trying to see if the grass is greener on the other side. Yeah, that is everyone who can afford it. But man, this is such a beast of a motherboard. Asus pulls no stops at bringing a premium, beastly but still very flexible platform and they didn't disappoint. Highly recommended. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin to na to. De joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.